G'day there, Damien Battersby from Proactive IT Solutions. Just catching up on the latest cat video on Facebook. And while cat videos are fun, I actually wanted to talk to you today about something a bit more serious. And that's the fact that cyber criminals are using social networking sites as a way to get access to your private information so they can steal your identity and get access to your IT. There's been a few large companies recently who've had their networks hacked not because their firewalls were hacked through or their technology failed, but because cyber criminals were able to use private information on employees that work there and access accounts and hack in that way. Cyber criminals are now focusing their energies on smaller businesses who are a lot less prepared for such attacks. And today I wanted to talk to you about how you can protect yourself and your business from such attacks. Number one. Always check your privacy settings on your social networking sites. Privacy settings should always be checked regularly because often social network sites like to change their policies. And you also want to make sure that your information that should be private is kept private. Number two, stop before posting anything and just think about whether there's anything that's private that could be used by a cyber criminal to hack their way into an account. Number three, Always use strong passwords and use a different password for every social network site. I know this is a pain because we've got to remember so many passwords and I'm definitely guilty of forgetting passwords and pins, but making it a simple password for all the sites that's the same is really making it easy for cyber criminals to gain access to your stuff. Once they've got access to one account, they can use that same password to gain access to everything and from a business point of view, they can even get into your business accounts and from there they are already in the network and can really wreck, wreck some stuff. Number four, don't click any links you get in dodgy looking emails. Those links are usually phishing emails and they want to take you to a website that might look like your favourite social networking site but is actually a dodgy one designed to gain access to your username and password which then can be used to gain access to further accounts. Number five, don't connect any, with anyone you don't know. That might seem obvious, but I know that when I get requests from people who I don't know, I do check to see whether I have some connection with them through another person. Usually I don't, and these people are usually out there with a malicious intent, so don't do it. Number six, access social networking sites directly. As with the clicking of the links you don't know where they came from, when you're going to social networking sites, do it through direct links or through direct apps. Don't do it through um, anything else that's not a direct access to that site. Lastly, number seven, only use social networking sites with good privacy settings. Most of the big social network sites have good privacy settings, but as new ones come out and you want to join them, just make sure that the privacy settings will protect your information. Now for businesses out there, there's four additional things that I would do to protect yourself with social networking and, and the cyber criminal risk. Number one, Educate your team so they're well aware of the risks and that they're following the seven things that I've mentioned. Number two, have a policy in place about the use of social media on what you can do, what you can't do, and what you shouldn't and shouldn't do. Number three, monitor and audit access to social media sites so you have an idea of what's going on and you have some control over what's happening. And number four, put a budget in place for online security. We're all online now with our businesses and so it's inevitable that we have to make sure that we're protecting our business and our assets from cyber criminals. Well, I hope that gave you an insight into the risks around social networking. And if you've got any questions, feel free to drop me a line. I'm Damien Battersby from Proactive IT Solutions. Till next time, thanks a lot.